Hello everyone, I am uh, Chandu Krishna doing PhD under Dr. T. N. Venkatesh in uh, Academy of Scientific and Innovative Research, CSRNL Campus, Bangalore. And today <coughs> I would like to share my uh, views about uh, some of my work details about vertical structures arising out of mutual interaction between me, wing and wingtip monitor propellers in this discussion meeting. Um, today, uh, the whole aircraft industry is more talking more about this uh, greener air vehicles and urban air mobility, where electric aircraft is one of the solution for it. And uh, these are some of the recent news articles which we are saying about uh, why we didn't, uh, why don't we have an electric aircraft yet, and uh, what are the restrictions and limitations for the um, uh, for the reason uh, and the reasons for the um, uh, reasons we have. Um, why we didn't get an electric aircraft yet. And this is a review article which says about uh, all the restrictions and lim uh, limitations and uh, design challenges which have to be overcome uh, to design this percentage electric aircraft. And finally, some aircrafts have been tested by some other companies uh, <coughs> for urban air mobility. <coughs> and also, uh, NASA has been uh, testing NASA X57 Maxwell, where, which is a uh, technology demonstrator for future electric aircrafts. And finally, we have entered into the age of electric aircrafts now uh, because all we, have, we have all these um, electric vehicles on road. And this is the uh, these are some of the concept aircraft with uh, wingtip propellers because um, when uh, one of the main design challenges uh, when coming to the electric aircrafts is the power required, and um, because of the um, um, big, there will be a Induced drag from uh, because of the aircraft uh, aircraft wings, and uh, this has to be reduced uh, to lower the power required. So uh, there are some uh, studies saying that wing, if we are using wingtip propellers, this indu uh, induced portion of drag can be reduced. So uh, this has taken as a part of my study, and these are some of the concepts of aircraft which are using the wingtip propellers. Uh, that this one is NASA X57 Max, which is the technology demonstrator by NASA, and this is by Airbus. Uh, these two are by Airbus and this is by Volotic Corporation. And uh, uh, how this induced drag will be reduced by this, uh, by this wingtip propeller? There, there is a mechanism, uh, mechanism called vertex attenuation mechanism by which uh, the vertices of opposite spin interact with each other and uh, the final vertex gets uh, attenuated. And coming to the, um, and my presentation goes in this way. First, I'll introduce the concept of vertex attenuation mechanism and uh, I'll talk about the benefits of wingtip propellers. And then uh, a simple demonstration which, uh, which, um, which deals about this vertex attenuation mechanism. And uh, finally, my results, uh, which, which are very basic and preliminary results about this uh, wingtip propellers, uh, usage of wingtip propellers. And my presentation is almost uh, completely qualitative. As we see, uh, vertices are very hard to generate without having a solid surface. And once it, once it is generated, it is very hard to destroy. But in this case, we are not completely trying to destroy the vertices, but we are trying to just attenuate the effect of vorticity. Uh, and um, this can be, my, my main aim is whether it can be applied to an aircraft for the reduction of induced drag. And uh, one of such methods is by employing the wingtip propellers. And the, this is the representation of uh, which says about coaxial uh, counter rotating pair of vertices uh, having opposite spin. And these are some of the benefits of employing wingtip propellers. Uh, by employing wingtip propellers and based on the rotational direction and application, uh, we'll get either uh, a reduced uh, a benefit of reduced induced drag, and by rot uh, by rotating it in counter clockwise uh, counter vertex uh, rotation. And uh, we'll get an induced drag increase, which is required at the time of approach and landing uh, by the co-vertex rotation of the propeller, and we'll get a better roll control. And we have to note this that it can be achieved uh, not by adding any weight to the aircrafts. It can be achieved by just uh, properly positioning the uh, properly positioning the uh, power source, uh, energy source that is the uh, propeller at the tips. And uh, this is a simple demonstration uh, done by me for uh, our, um, to understand the mechanism of vertex uh, attenuation. And it is completely qualitative. I am not going to uh, going into any numbers of it. So I, I have taken two wings, which is of Naka 001 to cross section um, uh, airfoil section, and with 1.5 meter span. And those are geometric, uh, geometrically symmetrical. Uh, 
geometrically same and uh, have placed in such a way that one, stream, uh, one wing is in the wake of the other. Uh, wake of the other, the upstream, air, uh, uh, upstream wing is ha having an angle of, um, placed at an angle of attack of minus 10 degrees and the downstream wing is placed at an angle of attack of 7 degrees and this is the, uh, the, uh, this is the computational layout and a RAN simulation was performed, RAN simulation with Spallet Almaras turbulence model was performed with um, symmetric wall boundary condition and uh, we have used SU2 open source CFD tool for uh, performing the simulations. For better comparison, we have done uh, only one wing which is at uh, angle of attack, uh, attack of 7 degrees. And this shows the coefficient of pressure contours which, um, of um, both the cases with only one wing and uh, two wing case. And here, uh, one, uh, one interesting aspect here is that uh, when the tip, uh, tip vertex from the upstream wing is, uh, uh, comes near to the uh, wing tip of the second wing, we see a secondary vertex forming on that uh, top surface, upper surface of the, uh, of the wing and there will be again a primary, uh, primary tip vertex of the downstream wing and we will see it in the next few slides and these two vertices will be convecting downstream like this and this is a, uh, these are some velocity vector plots at some uh, plane at, uh, at some distance downstream the wing. Here these are uh, the ISO contours of Q criterion which was plotted for both the configurations of only wing and uh, two wing configurations. We see uh, by, by comparing these two figures we can easily interpret that there some vertex attenuation has happened uh, and this is the uh, I saw Q criterion contour of the secondary vertex and this is the primary tip vertex of the downstream wing. And this is the ISO contours of vorticity magnitude where we can see the secondary vertex and the primary tip vertex is having an opposite spin here. One of the evaluation metrics of this uh, vertex attenuation is the, uh, is the pressure recovery downstream where uh, the tip vertices will be having a rotational kinetic energy, uh, will be carrying the rotational kinetic energy and we have to stay, when we want to straighten the flow this has to be recovered and this recovery will be, will be in the form of the pressure, uh, in the form of the static pressure, where in the one wing simulation where uh, there is no upstream wing, we see the localized concentration of low pressure area where uh, we see the um, rotating uh, rotating particles and here, uh, here the, there is also a, um, we can see rotation here also but uh, there is no localized area of, pre, uh, local, uh, localized area of low pressure area and uh, this, uh, um, and one of the reason which we think uh, about this formation of secondary vertex is when this vertex attenuation will be more uh, beneficial and uh, it will have more efficiency when um, the both the vertices will having uh, uh, is having uh, same vertex strength and also with opposite spin here we have the opposite spin but um, we didn't uh, do any uh, cal uh, any mathematics to uh, find out the angles of attack optimum angle angles of attack which uh, through which we can get the um, vertices of equal strength so if you are uh, trying to do with the uh, vertices of equal strength, this may not be forming out. The secondary vertex may not be forming out and uh, we can see a perfect attenuation of the, vert uh, of the vertex. And um, I'll next jump into the wing propeller interaction studies and these are also very pre preliminary results and very basic. And uh, this is, uh, these are some studies in uh, literature. Uh, this is by some uh, Thomas Senige, uh, which was published in Journal of Aircraft very recently. Uh, they have compared two different configurations. One is conventional propeller configuration, um, uh, propeller placement configuration, and one is uh, tip propeller. Uh, these are the plots which shows uh, CL versus angle of attack and CD versus angle of attack. We see uh, CL is not of um, not varying much. There is only some one to three percent variation is there. But when, uh, when we come to the uh, coefficient of drag, uh, over a, um, an overall reduction of drag reduction of 5 to 20 percent is seen here in this area and, and this, this drag reduction is also, uh, uh, this drag, uh, drag reduction increases when the thrust of the propeller increases. And uh, 
we have done some simulations to uh, know about this uh, wing propeller and um, uh, uh, effects of wing tip propeller where we have taken a wing with Naka 23018 section at the root and 23015 section at the tip uh, with 1.2 meter span and propeller diameter was around 2, uh, 0 0.38 meters and we have performed RAN simulation with SA model and um, Reynolds number is around 1.2 uh, into 10 to the power of 6. We use uh, B, uh, BM2 model, model the propeller and coupled blade element method solver was used to uh, uh, carry out the wing propeller in traction studies. And this solver is basically developed by CTFD team in CSIR and Yale. And these are the configurations which we have studied. The, uh, the configuration studied was uh, wing with uh, disc at the 0.5 span and uh, disc at the tip where uh, we have tried both co-vertex and counter-vertex rotation directions. And these are the streamlines through the wing. And this is the ISO contours of vorticity magnitude at, angle, at an angle of attack of 0 degrees. Where uh, by, by seeing the images we cannot interpret much but when we go to the numbers here we see uh, the counter vertex rotation is beneficial and uh, here the lift is more the lift is also more uh, uh, more compared to the co vertex rotation and the drag reduction is also there so uh, it is beneficial to have uh, to have the counter vertex uh, rotating propeller and here when we have the disc at the tip uh, where the um, asset vertex attenuation should happen uh, uh, we see by comparing the um, uh, images here of, of uh, isocontours of vorticity, the, uh, the angle of attack here is 5 degrees. The co vertex rotation is slightly amplifying the uh, uh, wing tip vertex, and but the um, counter vertex <coughs> <coughs> counter vertex rotating propeller is uh, attenuating the vertex uh, wing tip vertex here. So um, uh, numbers. Uh, we, if you see the numbers, we see a clear drag reduction when compared to the co vertex rotating propeller, and uh, slightly uh, uh, an increase in lift is also seen due to the upwash facing by the wing. And uh, this is the comparison of different conf uh, configurations which are at 5 degrees angle of attack uh, uh, with disc at 0.5 span counter rot vertex rotation because we have seen the co counter vertex rotation is beneficial. And, the, and if you see the numbers, we see uh, the a wing with counter rotating vertex, uh, counter vertex rotation at the tip is more beneficial, which is having higher lift and reduced drag. And as I have said, I said that pressure recovery is one of the metrics for that. We have seen um, uh, in the counter vertex rotation, we didn't see any localized area of uh, uh, low pressure, but in the counter vertex rotation, we see uh, even the uh, rotating uh, uh, vertex vectors, and this is sort of straightening here. And uh, yeah, I'm concluding. And these are some of the difficult time facing uh, where in the numerical simulations where because of rotating parts involved and uh, vertex generation and vertex transport is one of the issue. And uh, it will be more complex when multiple propellers are used. And these are uh, these uh, works are in progress in in our division there. We want to try, we wanted to try rotating frame and sliding interface I mean, mesh interface techniques for actual propeller simulations, uh, multiple propeller interaction and wing propeller interactions, and this is one of the unsteady simulations of a three-bladed propeller, which is a, just a trial. And the, by uh, as a conclusion, we can say that attenuation of vertex is possible by making use of coaxial counter rotating pair of vertex. And this concept can be uh, used for uh, used to reduce the induced uh, induced portion of the drag, and uh, the counter vertex rotation is more uh, rotation of the propeller at the tip is more beneficial, and this reduce the wing drag wing drag by wing tip vertex attenuation. And I feel uh, as this is a discussion meeting, and I can also uh, have to discuss some questions with you. And these are the questions um, going in my mind where, where, where what effect does Vertex, vertex means vertex uh, from the blade tip vertex and uh, wing tip vertex interaction have and when multiple propellers are distributed along the span, what, are, what about the wing loading? And acknowledgements, I am very grateful to the CTFD division in NEL for letting me use the code developed by them and I thank the project assistants who helped me in grid generation. Thank you. And these are the references used.